Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous, the universally love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I would just call this show Online Marketing Moves. We are coming to you live today. Today is Wednesday, May the 15th, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say this off the top, off the rip, from the beginning. (laughs) Uh, If you haven't already, ladies and gentlemen, what in the hell are you waiting on? Subscribe to the podcast so you get them whenever they upload. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are going for 100 subscribers by the end of the month of June. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all participate. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for you. And I'm talking to you, pal. You, man, woman. However you want to identify yourself, bucko, I'm talking to you. So let's go. Let's subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's subscribe to the podcast. Let's, as soon as the episodes drop, you want to be one of the first ones to listen. You want to be an early adapter. Now, as I told you before, do not try to be my friend, pal. When we're getting 3 million, 4 million downloads, you know, and I'm big time. And I'm uh, hanging out with celebrities and stuff. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you to be one of them people that say, "Hey man, I, I have been watching your show from the beginning, and you know, I just want to say, you know, congratulations, and man, you know, you're doing it big. You know, don't, don't, don't come five years from now talking at talking at gibberish." And I'm going to say, was you really? And then I'm going to ask you a couple questions. And you're going to be like, man, I don't know what he's talking about. So I don't want you to be one of those people. Okay? I want you to be, get in on it, the ground level. So that way, when I go to these speaking events, and they paying me buku bucks and I'm walking by, uh, you can be like, woo woo. Uh, early early person right here, pal. I was one of the I was one of the first ones. I was in the top one hundred of the YouTube subscribers, and then I'll shake your hand because you know I'm gonna do my research and I'm gonna do my looking up and I'm gonna know who's who. And you know, I don't want you to be, you know, I don't want you to be number two hundred and fifty thousand. 375th person to sign up to the YouTube channel. I want you to be one in the top 100, okay? So you got 90 spots left. I think we had 10 right now. So you need you need to you need you need to get you need to shape up. Okay. I'm talking to you. You you need to shape up, okay? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have a jam-packed show for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm going to tell you something very important. I am going to tell you something very important. You know, I am a man of wisdom now. I am over the age of 40, okay? So I have plenty of wisdom. If you don't believe me, ask my mama, okay? And ask my daughter and ask my wife now, I'm, I'm just kidding all jokes aside you know the older you get the more you're supposed to learn and be growing all of us are supposed to be learning and growing but when you get a certain age you 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 have a little more wisdom than you did yesterday you know i had more wisdom today may the 15th 2024 than i did May 25th, 2023, because you're supposed to, okay? And so, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about something very important. We're going to talk about why you should not waste time. When you figure things out, when you figure things out, yesterday we talked about 
yesterday I discussed with you, you know, the, the LinkedIn log jam, you know, being uh, on social media, being on Facebook, being in groups, hanging around, sort of like the Fonz, you know, you at the juke. <laughs> you like Fonz and Happy Days. That's an old reference. My wife does not like when I do old references. You know, I'm a I am a fan of I am a fan of TV shows from yesteryear, you know. One of my favorite shows to watch is Andy Griffin. I love watching Sam for the Sun, Good Times. Um, you know, whenever I go visit my parents, they watch shows like Gunsmoke, so I, I watch that with them. But a lot of times You know, I'm still cracking up at Seinfeld 30 years later. You know what I mean? The show went off the air in like 1998. And yet, I'm still a key, key, key and a ha, ha, ha at Seinfeld. I enjoy Frasier, you know. So, I enjoy a lot of older shows. But my wife, she says, man, you got to stop dropping them old references. But I'm like, look here, sweetheart. What am I? What, what else am I supposed to be talking about? I, I just learned a couple weeks ago, ops, you know, that's the opponent, the opposition. I, I use it in the I use it in a sentence for you. All those uh, all those other marketing podcasts are the ops. Okay. Uh let's see what else what what else have I learned? No, lit is old lit is old news. Uh, I can't remember right now. But I'll think of it. I'll think of it later, you know. And I'll try to sound. I'll try to sound a uh, hip with it, you know. Well, I know Cap. You know, I I, <laughs> I always think that's kind of funny because my brother, whenever he uh, every now and then my brother he'll call me, and of course, whenever he talks, you know, when his lips are moving, he's normally telling. He's normally uh, he's normally capping, as the kids say. But anyway, my wife does not like the old references, but I know you do. You know, and uh, we're going to keep them going because that's what I know. That's in my wheelhouse. Ain't no need in trying to change, you know. You know, there's nothing worse than somebody that's like, you know, you can you can you can change. You can do things different. You know, it's just like I grew up without the Internet. Now I'm now I'm on the Internet. You know, there are no podcasts when I was uh, 12 years old. Now I'm doing a podcast. You know, you can always adapt to things. But, you know, it's nothing worse than. If you're like uh, you're in the you you in the car with somebody and they're like fifty some and you know they're like hey hey man blast that new and it's like what what you know about that and then they get the song wrong and all this and all that you know they bobbing their head and they off beat and, and it just looks bad you know uh it's it, it's bananas sometimes when you see that every now and then. it's like you you don't like this song you just bobbing your head to, you don't even know what's going on you know. I don't know much about rap these days, as I told you probably before a couple of times, you know, the whole Kendrick Lamar, Drake beef. I I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I didn't, I listened, tried to listen to a couple of them songs. I didn't know what was going on. I was lost. I was confused. You know, both, um, I mean, it was all right, but it was no, uh, you know, the greatest beef, the greatest rap beef of all time is Nelly versus Karis One. You you didn't know they was beefing? No, that was one of the worst ones too, you know. So I don't know anything about I don't know much about all that these days. You know, I'm not up on the uh I'm not I'm not up on the lingo. I'm gonna have to learn some lingo when my daughter gets older, you know, when she when her mom gets her a phone, which I'm gonna be opposed of, but I'm I'm gonna convince my wife to get her a you know a phone that just does the phone calls you know you know one thing that you wanna one thing that my wife does a great job at which is I I appreciate a lot is she she has my daughter communicating quite well you know my daughter she she used to be she used to have this move where she would grab your hand and take you to, and take you to the refrigerator and you would be lost in space she and she would grab and she would be moving your hand, and you're like, "What? What do you want?" And if you grab something, she shake her head, and it's like, "Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, honey. This ain't this ain't this dog ain't gonna hunt, you know." And uh, but my wife has done an excellent job, 
Now my daughter, she's like, I want this, I want this, I want to, I want to hear Be- Beyonce. You know, uh, I think I heard one a Be- Beyonce song probably like thirty times Sunday. It was, you know, this ain't Texas, woo! And my daughter was throwing her hands up every time. I'm like, oh my goodness. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something very important. We are going to talk about when, when to when to when to know to stop wasting time you know and the reason why i bring this up is because i i was in the i was i've i am in the industry where you 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 piss away a lot of time and that's trucking okay and you know we are once we're one foot in one foot out of this trucking nonsense but you know uh as i told you yesterday about the linkedin the linkedin log jam we gotta we gotta get the copy we got to get the writing services to the right people so that way we can start really getting into it, booking booking the services, and then we could just shut down the, the whole driving. That's another subject for a whole other day. But in trucking, from the time I started, from the time from the time now, you know, you waste a lot of time. People that people waste a lot of your time, and you do not. And this is one reason. And this is reason. You know. You know. We're gonna start. We're gonna start marking. I need to make note. I need to make notes of this, and we're gonna start putting down reasons why you want to create income for yourself. Reasons why you want to create income for yourself. We're gonna start that, and we're gonna make this number one. This is gonna be the number one thing. Forget the money part. The time that you waste going to a job commuting the time you waste listening to dribble at the job you ever work with somebody and they want to tell you about their whole weekend it's like ay, yay 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 you waste a lot of time doing that i give an example of wasting time okay this weekend i delivered the load somewhere in tennessee delivered the load you know and I had I got an app on the phone for the for the loads. The app was not working. I called I text the people, call the people. I said, hey, man, my app not working, you know. Um it was Saturday, you know, I'm ready to go home. They're like, Oh yeah, we can't do nothing until Monday. You know, oh okay, can't do nothing till Monday. Ain't no load, no load, no load has been given. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm I'm gonna just drive on home, you know. So I drove home, got home Saturday, you know, hung out with my wife, my daughter all weekend. You know, come Monday or Sunday night, I got a text. Hey, where are you? And I'm like, you know, where am I? I mean, where do you think I'm at? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. The point is, you know, they call me up Monday, all, you know. Talking about where you at, when you coming back, blah 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 blah, you know. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna get in the truck uh, a little later, and I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit 50 miles up the road and get started, you know. So I I so I get in the truck in the afternoon, gas it up, drive 50 miles, you know. I'm like, now what? Now you know you know where's the load? You know what's what's happening? Nothing. No load, no nothing. So, you know, what I'm telling you is this is this is no, the number one reason why I have completely gave up on truck driving. That I'm like, I'm not going to be doing this when I'm 50. I'm not going to be doing this when I'm 60. I don't want to do it when I'm 45. You know, I barely do it now. You know, it's uh, it's annoying. It's a nuisance. It's a pain. It's uh, it's frustrating. Not not because you know I enjoy the driving and all that, but when you have to deal with the people and they waste your time, you know. And then every day, you know, from the time I started driving, these people would be going home and they on the phone with you, like, "Oh man, you know, I gotta look, I gotta see," you know. And I remember one time this guy he was telling the story about how this. Uh, driver called in. It was Friday. He called in. He asked the guy, "Hey man, I need I need help 
you know, they not trying to load me up. The number ain't, the number's wrong or something like that. And the guy was like, all right, I'm going to put you on hold. And then the, he put the guy on hold. He got his stuff and he left for the weekend. Left old boy hanging. You know, nothing got done. Old boy was stuck for two days. And they, you know, they they told the guy, don't ever do that. But I'm thinking to myself, you know, the guy, he was like, I told him he brought to never do that again because I respect truck. Blah, 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 blah. And I said, you know, this guy, he's so full of, sh- he's so full of it right now. None of them, uh, all of them don't mind wasting your time, you know, because it's not about you going home and you being with your family. It's about, hey, hang out in that truck until we get a load for you. And then as soon as we call you, you'll be ready. So some, I know, I remember in the winter time you would be sitting around. You know, it would be like a day, day and a half, and it's like, man, can I just go home, man? What is going on around here? You know, you would be somewhere like in Dallas, you know, and they like, oh, we, oh, we need everybody right now. You know, it's like you need everybody, but what's going on? Ain't nothing going on. You would go two days without getting a load. You know, and it's like, this is, this is bananas. You know, so they love to waste your time. And um, I say all that is to say you do not want to waste time with jobs. You do not want to waste time with uh, with people. You know, I remember one time I was on the phone with an old friend of mine and he was talking and he was still talking about the same stuff he was talking about back in 1996. You know, I'm thinking to myself, come on, come on, my boy. We you talking about the same stuff that you was talking about in 1996. This is wasting time. You are. You are a time uh, a waster, okay? You are wasting my time. And so you want to avoid jobs, people, things that are going to waste your time, you know? You have to be careful, you know? It's just like being in a relationship. I remember I was dating this girl once, you know, and there was nothing wrong with her. There was nothing wrong with me. It was just... It was just time, you know. I I knew this wasn't going nowhere. She knew it wasn't going nowhere, you know. And it wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing like oh, this 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 is evil. This is evil MF right here, you know. It wasn't none of that. It was just it all fizzled, you know. It was just like all right, and, you know. You kind of feel bad because you know the the person done nothing wrong, but at the same time, it's like yeah, they ain't done nothing wrong, but. This ain't no relationship that's going anywhere. So why am I hanging out, you know, hanging around? And so so we stuck around, you know, it got to, it got to the point where, you know, it was like no phone. It would be like a phone call once a week, you know. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got going on? <laughs> what you got going on? No plans. No, no plans or nothing to hanging out, you know, because every party knew that this was coming this was this is over but for like a month you know like a month two months maybe at the most it's just like this dog and pony show you call on once a week like hey what's happening yeah yeah yeah. are you going out tonight okay now i remember one time the funniest thing um uh because because the girl was going out you know and i'm like oh she 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 looking for me <laughs> she looking for me <laughs> you know what i mean and so i remember i she got on the phone and i was like I hope you find a new, I hope you find a, I hope you find a man. I mean, you going out every week. And she's like, thanks. I appreciate that. And then, you know, we just hung up and it wasn't nothing bad. You know, it was like the truth. It was like, I'm not even, I wasn't even trying to be funny. It was just like, man, you going out every week, man. You know, I barely talk to you. I ain't really looking at the phone. Like, Hey, where she at? You know, like, like now with my wife, if I go, you know, you know, a few hours I hear my wife. I'm like, uh, let me call and see what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, what's happening? You know, I, I ain't hear from you. A text that you know makes sure she all right. You know, you do that kind of stuff when you when you really you know care about the person. You know, when you, when you when you're in a real relationship, when it's love. You know, when it's real love that you know you call and check on them and stuff like that. You know, I mean, this girl, she was all right. You know, I was tired of it. She tired of me. We just two people tired of each other. Called once a week. Got less and less, you know. I remember last time that I saw her, I was like, Yeah, I'm just I'm just sitting at home. She's like, you know, if you want me you want you want some lunch? I you know, I'll we can have lunch. 
And remember, I went, we met up, we had lunch. Nobody said nothing to each other. Wasn't nothing bad. And then, you know, we ate lunch. And I was like, all right, then. it was good to see you. And then that was it, man. That was the last time, you know, I was like, all right. But it was so much time wasted, you know, like it was two months of time just being wasted. And sometimes when you're young, you know, you waste time. And you're like, oh, man, I got all, I got so much time in the world. But I'm not telling you that, you know, hey, you got to speed things up. But when you're in a, like, when you're in a situation like that, like a relationship that's not going anywhere, just end it. Because it saves you time. It saves them time. It helps you move on. It helps them move on. You know, and you're not wasting so much time because, while you're wasting time with them, you you could be look, the love of your life could walk, be walking past you or something like that, and you're busy trying to keep up with this charade. Like, oh man, I like them, you know, they ain't done nothing to me, blah 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 blah. blah you know, I mean, thank goodness that, you know, when I met my wife, I wasn't, you know, still hang trying to hang out with this girl. But that was months, you know, before I met my wife, you know. But uh, I'm just telling you, you, you do not want to waste a lot of time, you know. I remember one of the biggest things that I can say now about uh, truck driving, when it comes to truck driving, one of the was, when you know, I worked for a place for a year in my first year. And it's like, you like that people are like, hey, man, you can go to this place and that place, you know, and they do this, they do that. And you're like, ooh, 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 ooh. But then you come to realize after a while, all these jobs are just the same, you know find one stick to one and just just ride it out you know go find something else to do with your time you know if, you, if you're not enjoying the experience but there's not a oh man this company's gonna do this this company gonna, they all gonna waste your time you know and one in one form or fashion they're all gonna waste your time it's just how it is this is a time wasting business you know this truck driver and so you do not want to waste a lot of time and and that's why i talked about yesterday you know, hanging around social media, that's just wasting time, you know, hanging out on LinkedIn, reading posts or trying to write posts, you know, it's a waste of time. You want, you want to find, you want to go to where the people are at. That's why you write them letters or you send them cards or you say, Hey, check out, or go to my website. You don't say, Hey, check out. You say, go to my website. And sometimes you have to be, you know, the more direct you are, because we talked about Monday when it is my brother with his move about, hey, I'm going to take you out to dinner at IHOP. You know, he's he's direct, you know, even though it's annoying. I'm, I'm sure my mom is annoyed. She's like, I don't want to go to IHOP, but whatever. It's a free meal. But what I'm telling you is wasting time, wasted energy is it's, it's one of the worst things you can do, you know, and um uh, you want to go, you want to get direct with the client. You want to get direct with the, uh, let's say you are doing um, affiliate market on YouTube. You're not going to say, you're not going to make videos and say, hey, guys, maybe you could check out my link. No, you're going to say, hey, hey, guys, you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Look down below is the link. Click on that link and see 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 more offers we have. You have to tell people sometimes what they need to do. You know, there's not a it's not a because you don't want to waste a lot of time. You don't want to waste time trying to get people as into your world. So you say, hey, there's a link below. Check out the link, click on it, and then see what we have see what we have in store. You want to direct them you do not want to waste time and dancing around and dance around and dance around i remember one of the uh funniest things i told you the story before but when my wife she got recruited for this mlm company and they should have came to me because i would have been more more i would have been more i would have been more to listen than my wife I, I, i'm just joking around with that but i remember you know they was talking and they were like they're very nice people. I can't remember their names. I wish I remember their names, but they were very nice people. And I remember they was like, you know, so what do you think about? And we had like two, we had like two meetings with them, you know. And I told my wife, I said, I think this, I think this is a uh, multi-level marketing, and I know that ain't your thing. So this is just a waste of time, you know. And the people 
they waited like two or three meetings and then they said hey this is blah 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 and my wife was like oh, no, i ain't doing that i ain't interested in that and i thought to myself you know they could have saved them a lot of time if they just came out and said hey this is uh this is avon or this is whoever you know and my wife would have been like i'm not interested no thanks goodbye and then that would have been it they had to say this was a lot of time and because i remember um i was doing this thing online i I, I would call people and I and I got straight to the point, you know. I was like, I don't want to be dancing around and all this and all that, you know. And I'm like, yeah, I'm with uh, some kind of company, and uh, you know, trying to trying to sell them a a, a subscription or whatever. And the guy was like, nope, and hung up. And I was like, good, <laughs> get this dog opponent show over with, you know. And so I called like five more people. Three of them hung up. One was interested, and the other one was like, uh, call back. And I was like, all right, I'll call back. I'll call back. They didn't answer the phone, but I didn't care. But the point is, save a lot of time, you know? Sometimes, you know how people are like, text me, text me, text me. And it's like, you know, I don't want to be texting back and forth. Sometimes you just want to pick up the phone and call somebody, especially if you're having like a disagreement. You want to save yourself a lot of time. You know, me and my wife, we don't go back and forth. We never went back and forth texting, 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 you know. We have a problem. Uh, we have something we got to figure out. Pick up the phone, call, you know, or have a meeting with each other. But it's never like this texting back and forth, texting back and forth, texting back and forth, back and forth you know. Texting is cool, but it's like, I don't want to do all that to go back and forth with somebody, you know. And so you want to save yourself as much time as you possibly can because there's a lot, there's a lot of things you want to do. You want to go tour the world. You want to tour the you know, the great United States of America. You want to sit home and watch Frasier all day, you know. You, you want to save some time and, you know, getting to the point sometimes is a lot better than dancing around and beating around the bush. So there's a relationship that you are in, and <clears throat> we all know the signs when a relationship is 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 kaput, you know. And uh, you want to save yourself some time. Believe you me, do not be like me. Every now and then, I remember when I was younger. I remember when I was... uh. I'll give you another example, then we'll get out of here. When I was the first first girl that I liked, I was like 15, maybe, something like that. Way before my wife, so don't be don't be a snitch. But uh I remember we met in the summer, we had a nice time or whatever, you know. And I remember in the fall, she was a little she was a little chilly with your boy, you know. She was a little cold. And I just remember I was like, oh, okay. And uh I saw her one Saturday and she's like, hi, and walked off, you know. And I'm like, man, I'm getting some uh, bad vibes, you know. She could have just said, hey, this ain't it for me, my boy. I'm getting off this train. I just said, all right, cool. <laughs> I'm 15. I was I was already thinking about other girls at that point anyway, you know. But the next month she came back, she she wrote me some letter. She's like, I don't, I can't do this no more. You know, I got a boy, I, I got a new boy boyfriend now. I was like, oh, cool, 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 you know. Uh, you could have did that last month. It would have saved us a lot of time. But, you know, you live and you learn. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to waste a lot of time. We do not have a lot of time to waste. Go straight. It's like a running back. Go straight. Just go straight through the middle. Score the touchdown, okay? But, ladies and gentlemen, I love you. I appreciate you. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. Remember, people, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. and. Um, that's it. Subscribe to everything. YouTube, the podcast. You know, we'll be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. God bless. And as always, everybody, peace.